What's up YouTube, this is Arl Yoshi as usual, I'm Max, CEO of Yosh Inc, bringing you Let's Play Game Dev Tycoon. Last time we started up and we were doing pretty good, but due to a couple ill-timed failures, we ended up low on cash, especially due to some research, creating a custom game engine, but you gotta spend money to make money. But currently, we are two thousand, we are almost $2,500 in the hole, but... The game reviews for our newly released game, Mausoleum Inferno, which is a mature game on the PC. It is a post-apocalyptic in action. We're going to see, because those reviews just came in, we're going to see if this has a chance of saving our asses. Let's find out. And... Nine! Great game from Star Games! Eight! They're focused on artificial intelligence. Serve this game very well from Informed Gamer. 8, very enjoyable from Game Hero, and come on all games, don't let me down. Played it for days, all games. We are saved, ladies and gentlemen, we just gotta wait for the sales. We are, we are good. We made it. Yes! We are saved, let's start work, come on, we got, we got, we gotta get stuff going. We gotta research Mausoleum Inferno now. Today, the new game platform Master V by Vena has been released. Or Vena, maybe. I don't know. Sure. Wait, we can't do anything else there, so. Let's collect money as we do our research. We've been saved. Oh my god. Mausoleum Inferno. I don't even know if I spelled you right, but thank you. According to our new our market research, the recently published game Mausoleum Inferno is a surprise hit with players. The developer Yosh Inc. is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Yes. Our post-release analysis of Mausoleum Inferno is completed. We got the following results. World design seems to not be not very important for this type of game. Platform genre match, PC in action, good. Platform audience match, match PC and mature, great. Yes! Yes! I knew real life logic would work in a video game for once. You know what? We we need to uh let let's 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 not fall back. We need we should do a bit of uh we should do a bit of work here. We should do a bit of contract work. Uh we have four weeks, five weeks, four weeks. Let's go, let's go with this one, I think. Technology, we, let, let's, yeah, we're gonna go with this real quick. I think we can do it. Because we could use, we could use, oh, the recently released gaming console Master V by Vina has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that it will flourish in other parts of the world. <clears throat> yeah, we gotta get a little bit of more money here, just kinda... Oh shit, stop scratching your head! More technology, more technology! Thank god. Nice job, we'll transfer 20,000 to your account. Alright. Jason here, I just got word from the client that the contract was completed successfully. Excellent work! Usually I have new contracts every six months, so check back sometime. I will do that, but for now, I can create another custom game engine? Nah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's time to make another game, guys. Uh, let's do a bit of research first. Let's get game tutorials in here. 40,000, we got almost half that. We got half that from the thing, so, uh... Actually, new topic. What new topics could we get? Uh, we do need some new topics, to be completely honest. We, uh... Are getting a bit... We could do both, actually. We can afford to do both. We'll do game tutorials first, though. Game tutorials. Alright. Oh, we have almost a thousand fans. My god. And we got another one just now. Use successful research game tutorials. All right, now we're going to do more research on a new topic. Let's go detective. Mausoleum Inferno is now off the market. It sold 34,915 units, generating $244,444 in sales. Jesus Christ. First, last episode, the number was sixes. This number, the, this episode, the number is four. Jeez. Uh, can't do anything right now, so let's uh, finish up our work here. We're approaching the end of year three. But we just researched Detective. You successfully researched a new topic? Detective. Let's now develop a new game. Uh, let's go with Young One. Wait, what? The cost was up for some... Whatever. Uh, I think we want a Young Comedy RPG for the test. We'll go with 5 Live for the game engine. Because we know that... 60,000? Uh... Comedy... Just... Weird. Uh... Or we might do... Nah, not Master V. Uh, because I know... I believe... Uh... 
I don't know, comedy RPG. Would that be a good combination? We're gonna go with it though. We're gonna try comedy RPG. We gotta, we gotta spend money to make money. We gotta take some risks. We took some risks and Mausoleum Inferno resulted, so. All right. <clears throat> a young, a, a nice, fun little childlike RPG. Uh, let's go with... Silly Star Showdown. 60,000, let's do it. Oh, that's why I was at 60,000, because, yeah, 2D Graphics version 2, we're gonna do it. Silly Star Showdown. Let's get to work on it. All right. Uh, the story, it's an RPG, story and quest needs to be good. Engine, not really. Let's go with linear story, we'll pay an extra 10k for that. Lower gameplay slightly. Because it's an RPG, we need lots of story and quests. Alright, you get those points. You get those points. Alright, uh... Dialogues for comedy, obviously. Artificial intelligence needs to be pretty good. Level design, not so much, I believe. Yeah, it's not Xenoblade Chronicles. We don't really need a whole lot in the way of uh, RPG level design. Lower AI slightly. Okay, we're good. Move on. We're still over 100k. We're doing good. New research available. Casual games. I will research that when I am done this game. Uh, hmm. World design. I'll raise that up and I'll lower the sound a bit relatively even across the board. Recent market data shows the Govador G64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. In an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Yep, so uh, that's gonna be, you know, plopping out pretty soon, and bugs. Silly Star Showdown. New record in terms of design. Engine, gameplay, storing quests, dialogues, level design, artificial intelligence, world design, graphic, 2D graphics v2, almost a level up, sound, and me. The first reviews for our newly released game, Silly Star Showdown, came in. Let's see if we did good. Oh shit. Five, fun at stages, star games. I don't think we did good, guys. I don't think comedy RPG is very good. Six, their focus on graphics served this game very well. Thank you, informed gamer. Six, quirky but good from Game Hero. And five, I've seen better from all games. Well, you know what? We, uh, we'll generate the game report. 5.5, 5. ah, well. We, we tried. We tried. We can do better, though. Comedy RPG is probably just not a good combination. That probably explains it. Post release announced the Silly Star Showdown has completely got the following. Comedy RPG is an okay combination. Graphics seems to be quite important for this type of game. Platform audience match, Tess and Young is great, and topic audience match is okay. Alright. Let's find a bit of contract work to keep us on off the ground. Uh we've got five weeks to do that. Uh Ooh. Mmm, that's I think I'm gonna take this one. So I know that if I fail, I won't lose a whole lot of money. Also, I got my design up pretty high. Oh, today Nintendo has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called GameLink. The device comes with a changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via a, via a connection cable. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the GameLink is underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. The GameLink is said to hit shelves next month. Awesome. Oh, we're, we're at the start of year four, too. Right. Excellent work. 13,000. Thank you. Let's get a bit more money here. Let's do another co a bit of contract work. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can do this one. It just depends on how often I scratch my head. Alright. Aw, oh, shit. Don't scratch your head, Tim. I've decided that's Tim now. Tim, you work for me at Yosh Inc. All right, done. Nice job, 16K. I'm not gonna take that last one. No way can I do like double that much in, in that much time. Uh, I need a bit of water here. All right. I think we should develop a new game. Or should we do a bit of research actually? I think a bit of research might be good. Superheroes, that would be good for the young crowd. Let's research that. 
The Silly Star Showdown is coming off the market soon. We need something else to stand the uh, test. Today, the new game platform Gamelink by Ninvento has been released. Silly Star Showdown is now off the market. Sold 18,721 units, generating $131,096 in sales. Kept me in the game. You have successfully researched a new topic, superheroes. And now, immediately after... Actually, no, I'll wait until after I've developed a game first. Let's develop a new game. A young... Actually, let's do everyone. Not young, actually. Superheroes. We want a superhero... Uh... Hmm. Let's go with a superhero action game for the tests. Action. And... Alright. We need a superhero name now. Adventures of Power Guy. Power Guy, the world's greatest superhero. Power. Why can't I? Oh, I didn't pick a genre. I thought I picked action. Power Guy. Start development on the Adventures of Power Guy. Uh. Save game, throw in a bit more money. I think we could afford it. Could probably do with that. Uh, we want some good engine here. Story and quest can be lowered. We need some good engine. And the gameplay needs to be high. And the engine and the gameplay needs to be highest. Actually, you know what? This time, let's throw the engine up to the highest for once. And I'll take off linear story, because I don't think we really need that. Or should I? Nah, I won't do it this time. Let's do this. Adventures of Power Guy. Uh, dialogue doesn't need to be that much. I, I, AI level design. Dialogue's a bit. And let's let's go with this. I think. Actually, lower that a bit. There we go. And that. That all the way. Good to go. All right. All right. Come on, Power Guy. Save me. Uh. This all looks good. Uh, we know that the world design is not particularly important. In fact, I'll lower that all the way. The graphic is the most important, and sound I'll put up a bit more. Let's do it! Do it! Alright, come on. <clears throat> Lots of bugs that we gotta fix, though. There goes the money. And we're finished! With a growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. New research available. Marketing. Awesome. Oh, oh new record for technology. Alright. Engine. Gameplay. Story and quests. Dialogues. Level design. Artificial intelligence. World design. Graphic. 2D graphics is leveled up, sound, and me. Let's release. The first reviews for our newly released game, Adventures of Power Guy, came in. What do you guys think of Adventures of Power Guy? Love it from Star Games. Nine, great game from Informed Gamer. Eight, very enjoyable from Game Hero. And nine, great from all games, Adventures of Power Guy! Let's uh, generate a game report now. Oh yeah. Oh yes, look at that. Power Guy has saved us! Oh my god, all those fans. Yep, yeah, we're over a thousand fans, all thanks to... Adventures of Power Guy! Our post release analysis of Adventures of Power Guy is complete. We got the following results. Superheroes and action is a great combination. Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. And platform genre match is okay. Well, that was just an okay genre match and look how we did. My god. The Adventures of Power Guy, you're gonna be my legacy. Power Guy! Yeah. Uh, let's bump up a bit with a bit of contract work, I think. 
uh, create an animation for an existing logo. We can do this one. Let's do it. Let's just uh, get this done real quick. Goal hand. If you have more than $1 million in cash, you will be able to move to the next level. This might sound this might sound a lot, typo, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, you will get to this amount easily. Vena, creator of the Master V console, has announced the Vena Gear, a portable console to directly compete against the game link from Nintendo. Yeah, that's Sega for ya. Just, Nintendo did this? We're gonna do it too! The spokesperson for the company said, Unlike similar devices on the market which don't come close to gaming consoles, Wait, what? Unlike similar devices on the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Vena Gear is basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. The Vena Gear also has a full colored screen. So basically, he just said, Nintendo sucks, because that's not a gaming console. Will this device topple the game link? No, we will see. The Vena Gear will debut in two months. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm never gonna put any of my games on a Venus system. Just gonna say that now. Holy crap! Transfer fourteen thousand. <clears throat> Contract payment. Let's research marketing. I think we should probably do this now. Yeah, pretty expensive, but you know what? It's worth it. <clears throat> Stop scratching your head, Tim. Ain't got time to itch. Got no time for itches. Adventures of Power Guy is now off the market. It sold 48,902 units, generating $342,342 in sales. Wow, repetitive. Okay. <clears throat> you have successfully researched marketing. Let's, uh... Alright, guys. Uh, I know there's a point where you can learn how to make sequels, but we can't do that. <clears throat> Not yet. <clears throat> I think we should do a new game. Pretty much got it by this point. Uh, let's go with another mature game. Five Alive. And let's throw it on the PC. We know that simulation is good. Comedy is good with young. Whoops. I didn't want to do that. No. Today the new game platform Vena Gear by Vena has been released. I didn't actually want to do that. God damn it. That was stupid. Uh, mature. What to do. Alright. Let's go with the simulation, because that seems to be pretty good. Ah, this is gonna be risky, though. I kinda wanna go mature detective simulation, but I don't know, actually, no, a simulation probably wouldn't be good for that. Mature April, nah, not airplane, I don't think. Maybe I shouldn't do a simulation, let's do action. Actually, let's do a strategy game. Let's do a detective strategy game. Mature, because why not? PC. And we will call it... Magnifying Grass. Because why not, right? Let's start development. Magnifying Grass. Uh, we'll throw in money for linear story. Want good gameplay, lower the engine, and raise the story in quest a bit. I have no clue about how to do this one. But we'll, we'll see it out as we go. Oops. Wait, marketing? Marketing can be very effective to reach more potential customers, but it can be very expensive, too. It is best to experiment carefully with marketing and get a feel for what works best. Don't invest too much, and remember that timing is important. Don't invest in your marketing efforts too early in development or too late. It is also important to know that no matter how much money you pump into marketing, it will not make a bad game successful. To the contrary, it can even hurt to market bad games too much as it can upset your existing fans. I won't do it just yet. I'll wait until after this next thing and then I'll put money into magazines. Uh, it's a strategy game. Good level design needs to be good. Bit of dialogues and lower the AI slightly. I'm now gonna market it. Advertising gaming magazines can be in one level before it hits the shelves. 50,000, let's do it. 
The hype! The hype train! The hype train is real! Uh... Good graphics. I think raise the world design a bit. Next time I might try it a bit earlier. But let's get rid of the bugs now. Let's finish. Magnifying grass, no new records. That's fine, we don't need to get them every time. Engine, gameplay levels up, story and quests, dialogues, level design, artificial intelligence, world design, graphic levels up, 2D graphics v2, sound, and me. I don't quite level up, close. New research available, better user experience. In two months, the G64 will be taken off the market. The first reviews for our newly released game, Magnifying Grass, came in. Six, quirky but good from Star Games. I'm doing decent at least. Five, have seen better from Informed Gamer. Four, uninspiring from Game Hero. And six, could have been better from all games. Well, let's generate a game report. We all, everybody's gotta have flops. Wow, that was expensive. At least a lot of people are buying it. Our post release announces magnifying grass completely got the following. Detective and strategy is a terrible combination. Gameplay seems to be very important for this type of game, and platform genre match, PC and strategy is great. I'll keep that in mind. Let's get some contract work just to stay up front. Uh should I try it? I'll go for it. Don't scratch your head. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today as Ga uh, Galvador, the creator of the popular GC4, has filed for bankruptcy. Galvador failed to introduce a higher peer, uh, price alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market early next year. Get back to work. Stop scratching your head. I don't think we're going to make this one. Uh, he's scratching his head too much. We didn't make it. We're going to have to pay money for this. This is very disappointing. A penalty of 5k will be applied to your account. G64 is no longer supported. You've released one game for the platform and earned a total of 87.2 thousand. Alright. Let's develop a new game, I think. But we now know that mature strategy seems to work for the PC. Strategy and simulation are pretty damn good here. So let's do... You know what? Let's do a zombie simulation. Mature, of course. Five alive. And we'll call this one... Fleshlight. Alright. Mature zombie simulation. Let's go. 2D graphics. Let's, uh, let's spend this money. Let's spend this cash. Alright. We're not learning a whole lot about development stage one here, unfortunately. We can lower the story, though. Gameplay and the engine should raise up a bit. Now get rid of that. Engine, save game. Yeah, let's do it. Still getting a bit of money from magnifying grass, at least. Alright, dialogue. We don't need, a, like, any of that. Artificial intelligence needs to be pretty high up there. Level design, I'll lower that. AI all the way here. Magnifying Grass is now off the market. It sold 15,705 units, generating $109,963 in sales. I did not market Fleshlight, unfortunately. I should... Oh, I was about to do it, but... Well, I guess there's no point in doing it now. Uh, sound needs to be up high. Graphics about there, and the world design about... There. Let's go with that, I think. Should I bother marketing by now? Amazing demos. Uh, Jesus Christ! I'm gonna go with magazines and demos, I think. Yeah, there we go. Get that hype up there. Get rid of these bugs now. Finish. Flashlight is ready. Alright. 
engine, gameplay, story and quests, dialogues, level design leveled up, artificial intelligence leveled up, world design, graphic, 2D graphics v2 leveled up, sound leveled up, and I leveled up. Let's release. New research available. Level editor, 2D graphics v3, and 3D graphics v1. The first reviews for our newly released game, Fleshlight, came in. Please, did we do good. What? Six, quirky but good. Really? Seven, nice experience from informed gamer. Five, has its moments from Game Hero. And six, I like it from all games. Apparently we're not doing very good this time. Let's figure this out because that costs us $200,000. Let's decrypt the message. This is a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to borrow some research information which might be of interest to you. Uh, if you are interested, uh, then transfer $42,000 to the enclosed uplink location. We'll contact you. Agent Blowfish. Uh, you know what? What the fuck? I have no clue. You have successfully researched history. That was stupid. <sighs> Whatever. Our post-release analysis of Fleshlight is complete, and we got the following results. Zombies- that's- okay, bad simulation, or bad combination. Engine seems to be quite important, and, uh, okay. Here's what I think we should do. We're gonna create- we're gonna develop one more new- let's do some research, actually, on a new topic, maybe. Uh, actually, we should do some of this stuff. 3D graphics. Let's get some 3D graphics. We'll research that. Eh. We might develop a new game afterwards. Tim, stop scratching your head. We've successfully researched 3D graphics version 1. Now... I might have to create a new custom engine for it. We'll see, I guess, but let's create a new game. Zombies seems to be... Let's try... We're gonna try another zombie game. I think a zombie action game. Great combo. We know PC likes action and zombies. And mature... Well, P it likes mature and action, and mature likes zombies, so... And I guess we'll go with 5 Alive, of course. And, uh, nobody really needs to remember Fleshlight, right? We can, uh, we can try something new. We're trying another zombie approach here. We're gonna call this one... Bloody Bastards. Mature. Next. Ah, shit, yeah, I have to make a new thing. I want to go with 3D, though. I need to do 3D stuff. Okay, I need to create a new game engine. I need to do this. I need these 3D graphics, man. I can do both of them? Is that a thing? Well, let's throw tutorials in. Hmm. I guess it's good to have an option. Yeah, I'll go with it. Uh, five Alive did pretty good. Let's go Five Alive 2. This is so expensive, but let's do it. Wow, we're not doing pretty good with Fleshlight. Fleshlight is now off the market. It sold 35,584 units, generating $249,116 in sales. You know, that's still got to be a lot of money. We'll say that much. I can't do anything else while this is going on. Alright. Come on, we gotta do this before we have to pay too much more money. Because apparently living in our garage is very expensive. Tim, stop scratching your head and get back to coding. Come on. Come on. Done. Your new game engine 5 Alive 2 is now complete. Now it's time to develop a new game. But we'll develop a new game in the next episode. Actually, you know, you've already seen what it's going to be. So let me just do all this. Bloody bastards. Zombies. For the PC. Action. And we're using 5 Alive 2. We're gonna go 
3D graphics. And we'll start development in the next episode. So, uh, I have been Max, the CEO of Yosh Inc. And we'll see you next time on Game Dev Tycoon.